getting started here as Danico is in pull with Rookie right next to him. Let's see how he can get off there. Seems like Danico struggled a bit at the start and Rookie gets a good start. Maybe he can get next to him and he does get next to him indeed. Can he push it alongside? Not hard. He get alongside and keep it clean. That's nice. And it seems like Rookie gets the edge here because he seems to get a bit more of a bit. Better exit, better keep it alongside Rookie is in front there. Danico seems to struggle because McKender is battling it out with him as well. And McKender puts it at the inside here. Can he go, can get Danico some of the exit speed there? And he get, uh, can keep it along the outside because they keep it clean so far. And Danico is still alongside with McKender and he's just fighting and he loses his pull position. And he loses P2 as well there and he's currently in P3. Justin had a bit of a good start there as well, getting in P4. Christian had a terrible start. Well, Kebab, you know what happened there? I do not know. I'm sorry. I was too busy looking at the battle at the front because it was so exciting. <laughs> uh, but uh, tire-wise, interesting uh, situation there. Uh, the reason Danny Cole probably lost those two positions, he started on the hearts. And Ruby and McKenna both started on the mediums as well. Because they it may have... Uh, McKenna goes alongside Rookie here. He goes for P1 and he gets P1 there as he... Pushes him a bit to the outside. Rookie nowhere to get a good exit there at the outside. As sometimes I prefer the outside there. But if you get no space, there's no way to get a good exit. And McKender gets P1 there. And he's currently from P3 to P1 in three laps. Great start from him there. Yellow flags is for Samim. He got off track. I don't know why at turn three. Uh, don't last long enough. Um, but yeah, we're starting to see some splits forming. Lof unable to keep up with Rookie. Rookie pauses McKenna in the meantime as we got a terrible camera angle, but Rookie pauses there fairly easily. McKenna doesn't fight him because the DRS is just too much to defend there. The uh, eye racing uh, rule of if you Kopi off, you goes off. for a move here at turn one and he makes it pause. And Sakinid is there going for P7 right now. The medium drive, the medium tire drivers really getting the advantage of their tires currently making moves everywhere on the track. And McKender definitely seems to have a good run here, will put it alongside now and he will put it in front as well as Rookie has no way to defend from that. But Deniko is too far behind to oh, get A little bit of a lock up there from McKender there. as well, a follow on board with him in that corner. Did not go that smoothly for him there. Um, next battle on track that I think I believe is going to be Sakanidis on copy who's going to get a good run down into turn 4. And uh, that is hard tyres against medium as well. So that confirms what we just said there about the, the hards being the quicker tire now. He's going to get this position back. Kenda looks to be defending it. No, he doesn't. He gives it up, gives the inside up. And Rookie is going to make that easy. Uh, easy enough. Yeah, good move from Rookie. Taking advantage of McKenna's mistake. Yeah, they're just oh, switching and switching the, their positions over and over again because they've been all... Uh, I think they've all been... They've both been in P1 for around six laps because... They switch for three or four times, I believe. And Danico, now because of this battling, he seems to get some k kind of attachment to their get battle as well. Front of turn five. So Rookie, what exactly Sakinidis happened there? And Nari all Love is, Love is off. He lost his front wing there at turn nine. And he's off with his teammate Gorla. Teammate of oh, the race, that, would say. Was that contact? And people are pitting or? as well. It seemed like because they were both off at the same point at turn nine, and Love completely missed his front wing, and I don't know. They both go into the pit as well. Spain 2020, <laughs> 2016 vibes there, and they've both. Uh, Gula is going to get uh, shafted by the uh, double stack as well, and Gula was in front as well, so he's not going to be pleased about this. I mean, he was in a prime position to uh, to be the first in the pits. I think maybe Love uh, is absolutely laughing his head off there that he doesn't get uh, the five second or so penalty that you get for double stacking. Um, it's a little better in this game, but it does cost you a lot of time. And he loses that position to Fox there because of it. Uh, but Fox still has to pit, so you will regain that position. But uh, pit stops coming into effect now. Kiko is uh, currently not going into the pits. Uh, he's staying out for another lap. It's going to be lap 16 on the mediums for him. And uh, he now has DRS on Danny Coe and probably doesn't really need to make the move that just yet Danny Cole has a lot of ERS to use now and now he's got the gap in front of him he is using it he has managed this race brilliantly so far has Danny Cole staying with the medium runners on the hards using no ERS to do so and now has a, a sizable store in order to uh, so consolidate his first place position and uh, 
defend from the undercut because even though he's going, they're going on the slower tires and he's going to go on the quicker tires. He is still an oh, undercut. See, oh, they, the rookie and Mc, no, Crystals and McKenna are battling there. McKenna gets in front because he has the fresh medium tires and Crystals is 16 old. Uh, medium hard tires would it wanted to say what I just wanted to say about Rookie and Kiko was that R Kiko had a really good position in the race as well as what oh, to get contact there Rookie and Crystals but no one spans round there uh, because of rain at the end uh, Mackender so in the meantime makes a move on Christian with the advantage of the tire he has it's an easy move for him going on the inside here uh, of Christian uh, Justin and Christian are keeping it out long on both their hard tires Justin is uncertain of anything as well, and Rookie is really close to McKender now. And McKender and Rookie are. <laughs> they're having a race long battle. Uh, they have been battling since lap 1, as Rookie is right behind with ERS and DRS. He makes it at the inside there. Will he make it done? Because he didn't go too deep over it. He pushes him almost off, but it's keep it clean somehow. And they both keep it on track, and it's an amazing battle to watch all along this race. All this race. Uh, intermediate when this rain comes, then uh, you know, they're all going to stay in the same position. I don't think Danny Cole wants to because Justin is two and a half seconds behind it, them, and if he can make this move work somehow as he loses time here, safety probably, car. it's a safety, we have a car. Car. safety car. It's because of Till the scratches, I believe, at turn five. Boosted is in the pits, and uh, he gets to take advantage of this safety car. How many people are going to risk the intermediates? It's way too early for the intermediates. If you ask it's me. another Romeo in as well. Uh, it's Tahidis, Copy, Crystals, and Love. Uh, Danico is going already, and it has pretty good exit because, uh, well, he, yeah, he really does. He, it's getting oh me confused God. due to this lapped cars in between. Justin hasn't doesn't have a good position because there are two lapped cars in front of him. We missed out on that as we might see Christian overtaking somebody soon because he's on the soft tires and it's definitely... Well, there is some rain coming down, but it's not in time though, so the soft tires are still... Should still be better than the intermediates. And Christian gets it uh, at the inside here as he just has a better breaking point, but... Ooh, they have contact there and Tunari and Christian have contact. And now Sahidis is right behind Tunari and Christian as well. Let's see if Sahidis can get past there, and he will, but not past Christian because he is too, way too much in front there. But McKenda uh, under threat now from There Christian. goes Christian in the meantime, indeed, and he goes alongside and he will surely make it done there as it glitches a bit, but he makes a move done. Although the intermediate tires doesn't seem too slow, but McKenda is using all his ERS to keep on for the time being though. Christian needs to make it work here though. Will he keep on to Kiko and uh, Justin there? And McKenna's still alongside and he still tries to battle, but he's draining all his ERS and there's no more ERS left for him, so there's no way to keep him battle Sakhidis there. And he gets part of Sakhidis, oh there's some contact there, but it's still keep it all on track and nobody crashes out for the time being there. It's some really difficult racing there because people are trying to get into the battle somehow with disadvantaged tires. That's the thing, I mean, Tanari's uh, really uh, not done himself any favours with those penalties, and Kiko is unable to keep up with medium guys at the front uh, on his hards as well. But it is the final corner, and it is Danico who's going to finish the line, uh, cross the line first, but it is Justin, that racer, who is going to win the Austrian Grand Prix. Kiko gets a P2 as well, Danico gets P3, but it's good points for him in terms of the championship. Christian, P4, a great race from him there as well. Makes the right decision, McKenda uh, had it all in his